In a recent video that I released on my channel, I discussed that the MatchX M2 Pro Miner will now introduce Bitcoin mining and it's going to be here to stay permanently for all users that own a MatchX M2 Pro Miner. Well, today on that Tico Guy, I'm going to be reviewing more in depth what those requirements will be. Stay tuned. Okay, so in a recent video that I released, I discussed that the MatchX M2 Pro low powered miner is now going to be able to mine Bitcoin permanently for all users that own a MatchX M2 Pro miner. But some questions do come to mind, like for example, what are going to be the entry requirements and the eligibility requirements for you to be able to do so? So on my screen, I have the article from Medium and here the future of low powered Bitcoin mining is here to stay now, okay? So basically from the analysis done from the DKP3 testnet project of Bitcoin mining, now the results were so good that it's going to be permanent and it's going to be there for everyone to be able to participate in. I'm not going to bore you to death with this whole article, so I'm going to leave a link to it down below this video in the description below so you can read that at your leisure but there are a couple of things that i would like to discuss here which are going to be the eligibility requirements for you to be able to join the bitcoin mining community with your match xm2 pro miner here we can see that permanent btc mining is going to be live and that's going to be around the end of april so with increased demand and thousands of miners eagerly waiting worldwide the permanent rollout of BTC mining aims to be available to everyone in the Data Dash environment by the end of April if all have been approved and passed the intensive quality and security encrypted assurance tests. Furthermore, after constantly consulting with our mining community, updates were made to the rollout ensuring scalability and reliability globally. So what is of interest here is that further down there are a couple of requirements. So this time round you will need to bond at least 5000 MXC tokens from your data dash wallet. You will need to bond those in order to lock them up so that you can participate in this. In the DKP3 testnet, it was 6000 MXC tokens. So at least this has gone down slightly, which is good as well. So that is going to be one of the first requirements. The second requirement is that you need to leave those 5000 MXC tokens locked up for 60 days. Again, in the DKP3 testnet, this was 90 days and now it's been dropped down to 60 days. And furthermore, we can note here that moreover, a node or miner will also be able to cancel the bond within 48 hours prior to the ending of your bonding period. Otherwise, the bond will be conveniently automated and rolled over for the next 60 days. So if you decide that, okay, I've got two days left out of my 60 day period, I've been mining Bitcoin for almost two months now, but I don't want to continue on. I want to get my 5000 MXC tokens unlocked and back into my Data Dash app and towards the fuel of my miner, then you will be able to do that within 48 hours of that time period expiring. And the third requirement is minimum 90% miner health. So this requirement has remained the same. It was the same for the DKP3 testnet and it's going to remain the same now as well. Now, the important thing that I need to mention here is that if you currently have an M2 Pro miner and you're mining, and you have, for example, 90% mining health or 91% mining health, so it's really on the border of your mining health, as soon as you come to lock those 5,000 MXC tokens, your miner health is going to drop even further. So it might actually drop down below the 90% minimum miner health that you actually need to participate in the Bitcoin mining, and you won't be able to do it. But don't worry, you can try it out. You can lock up your funds. You can try and remove your funds because as soon as you take out your funds to be able to bind them, to lock them, your miner health will go down. It will reflect that in the fuel of your miner. So if you see that you're going to have less than 90%, you can then grab those funds. You won't, you won't have locked them 
at that point you will just have taken them out of your fuel and put them in your MXC wallet so that you can lock them. So as soon as you take out the funds and transfer them to your MXC wallet, so those are going to be removed from your minor fuel, which will affect your minor health. So if you are at that 90% borderline and you're going to do this, then most probably you're going to drop your minor health below 90%. So in actual real fact, you do need to have around 95%, I would say, and then withdraw 5,000 MXC tokens and see how that goes. Ideally, you have 100%. Unfortunately, in my case, my MXC tokens were stolen around four to five months ago. So I had to kind of uh, rebuild my MXC funds back up again. But now the Data Dash app is even more secure. So at least that has been remedied as well. So be sure to check the video on that out as well and be sure to update your Data Dash app to the latest version for you to be able to protect your funds. So the same thing that happened to me doesn't happen to you. Okay, so those are pretty much the three requirements. So you obviously need to own at least one M2 Pro Miner. So if you don't have a MatchX M2 Pro Miner, do check out the link in the description below this video. I'm going to leave my affiliate link down in the description below this video. And if you come to purchase one of these miners from the official MatchX store, you will be getting a discount of around 50 euros, which is equivalent to around 60 US dollars when you come to check out. So at least you'll be getting a bit of a discount there as well because the miner is not that cheap. It's around 2,500 euros, which is equivalent to around 3,000 US dollars. So it is quite expensive, but I can tell you that in my experience, it has definitely been worth it, even though my mining funds were stolen, but it is a low powered miner. It's barely burning any electricity at all. Maybe it's burning around 10 watts, okay? So that is the first requirement. You have to own at least one M2 Pro miner. Bond a minimum of 5,000 MXC tokens and have a minimum miner health of 90%, so 90% plus, so that then once you bind the MXC tokens, you will have at least 90% plus. So this, I would explain it a bit clearer in the sense that you're going to look at your minor health, you're going to say, okay, I've got 90% plus, but like I've just explained, if you've got 91% or 90% exactly, and you come to take out those 5,000 MXC tokens from your fuel tank in order to be able to bind them, then that's going to drop your minor health even lower. So the minor health of 90% plus is after you have actually transacted the 5,000 MXC token amount and then are going to bind them, okay? So it's just going to be before you bind them. So do check what your minor health will be as soon as you withdraw those 5,000 MXC tokens into your Data Dash wallet because that's affecting your fuel immediately. So guys and girls, basically I just wanted to highlight what the requirements are. I'm going to leave a link to this article down below. Do check it out at your leisure. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.